and welcome to our virtual Student of the Month ceremony. I'm Eric Thomas, Principal of Worthington Kilbourne High School, and we're so happy to have you with us. I want to first thank Ms. Erica Backhurst for putting together this ceremony along with Ms. Kate Powers. Uh, we appreciate both of them and their support of our recognition programs. We are in the season of giving thanks and winter is upon us. Uh, if you were around uh, Worthington Kilbourne any time the past few days, you could see our beautiful ravine that's snow covered and uh, it just brings joy to us knowing that we're in a beautiful setting and we're in a beautiful community and we have supportive parents and, and outstanding students. And we're honored to recognize them today. Um, as I given thought to giving thanks, um, I was reminded by a friend who reached out to me over Thanksgiving, uh, wishing my family um, uh, the very best. I haven't talked to him for, for quite some time and it was a special moment to receive a text message from him and it, it turned into a conversation over the weekend to where we were able to catch up and learn about each other's families. And I want to challenge you, uh, all of you, to that as well. Even though we're remote and we're seemingly isolated from one another to protect everyone's well-being, we still have the ability to connect. And maybe that is virtually, uh, as we are in the Student of the Month ceremony, um, or it could be through a written letter. So I challenge each of you to reach out to somebody that you haven't talked to for some time. Your message goes a long way. When I received that from this gentleman, uh, it, re it reminded me of our times together. Um, and it reminded me of the things that we were able to do uh, for a school community and the things that we were able to change for the better. Uh, and, it, and it brings a smile to your face. So even though we're in uh, these times of isolation, we can still connect. And uh, without further ado, I want to introduce you to Miss Erica Backhurst and our staff that will be um, reading the nominations of our students for this month. Thank you and be well. Hi, this is Mrs. Backhurst and I would like to introduce you to the December 2020 Student of the Month nominees. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Vincent and I am very proud to nominate Brianna Bean for Student of the Month. Bree is simply awesome. She always has a smile on her face and a helpful attitude. Bree works very hard in class. She's an A student in my economics and financial literacy. She adds to great discussion in my class. She's not afraid to take risks, ask questions, give her input. Her happy smile is infectious. It lifts me and others around her. She's a great nominee for Student of the Month. And congratulations, Bree. Hi, my name is Brianna Abbott, and I've nominated Brady Cloyd for Student of the Month. During his four years, Brady has been a consistent and reliable contributor at WKHS. He has established himself as someone who can be counted on to work tirelessly to achieve any goal and to do it with a smile on his face. Brady's positive outlook, his dependability, and his achievements in every area of his life have made him an asset to Kilbourne. He has a bright future ahead and is most deserving of Student of the Month. Congratulations, Brady. Hi, my name is Susan Kacharek and I nominated Gavin Crozier for Student of the Month. I am continually impressed by Gavin Crozier, who is in my Law 1 class this semester. His work ethic is excellent, giving every assignment 110%. He asks questions which shows that he really thought about the issue and or the law, digging deep into the why and what if questions. In our recent mock trial, Gavin did an awesome job as one of the attorneys in the case. It is obvious that he has an interest in the law and that shines through in everything he does. It is my pleasure to nominate him for Student of the Month. Congratulations, Gavin. My name is Brianna Abbott and I nominated Joseph De La Torre for Student of the Month. Joseph is an engaging young man who consistently finds ways around any roadblocks so that he can achieve the goals he has set for himself. I was particularly impressed by the way that Joseph demonstrated the maturity of thought and action to make a decision about how he could pursue his career goals by attending the Delaware Area Career Center, while also maintaining his interests and passions here at Kilbourne. Joseph can always be counted upon to work hard, and I am proud to recognize him as a student of the month. Congratulations, Joseph. Hello, this is Dan Sparks. Um, I nominated Jack Doherty for student of the month. And basically what I said, Jack is going to be a top-notch student at Worthing Kilbourne High School. He has the drive, awesome work ethic, excellent personality, and the ability to do work with other students in small groups. His best quality is that he doubles up as a student athlete. This means he, with his demanding schedule, he's able to balance sports 
in school to maintain the respect that he earns at school. Congratulations, Jack, for being nominated as Student of the Month. My name is Brianna Abbott, and I nom nominated George Fong for Student of the Month. George displays a fascinating blend of interests, which he has maximized during his time at WKHS to make a positive difference. A gifted student, he will graduate from Kilbourne in just three years. But, I would, but what I admire most about George is his dedication to his areas of passion. For example, George loves French and computer programming. To help further his understanding in French, he sets all of his devices to display in French instead of English. And for programming, he volunteers his time to help in the AP Computer Science classroom, and he writes codes on his own for add-ons for Minecraft. George has a bright future ahead, and I'm honored to be able to recognize him as a Student of the Month. Congratulations, George. Hi, my name is Lisa Mullen, and I nominated Noor Hassan for Student of the Month. I have so appreciated having Noor in class, both Zoom and hybrid. Noor is a hard worker and takes a lot of pride in her work. However, my favorite trait of Noor's is her positive attitude. Thank you, Noor. You have made a difference this semester. Congratulations to Noor Hassan. Hello, this is Coach Hopkins, and I nominated Will for Student of the Month. And I've known Will for going on four years now, and he is an amazing young man. Um, he has such a friendly, positive personality that is contagious with whomever he's around. He has a great work ethic in the classroom and in life. Even though I don't have him in class this year, he still stops by my room on a regular basis to see how I'm doing, and I am looking forward to seeing him um, this spring during our season. Congratulations, Will. My name is Andrea Gratz, and I nominated Tommy Hudak. Tommy is a young man who stands out among his peers as he is extraordinarily polite, quite appreciative, and extremely hardworking. He manages to balance his time as class president with a rigorous course schedule, all while working two jobs. Finally, he does an excellent job on the WKHS news team. I'm happy to nominate him for Student of the Month. Congratulations, Tommy. Hello, my name is John Sprunger. I have nominated Tyler Katz uh, for Student of the Month this month. I've had the pleasure of working with Tyler on the soccer field for the past four years, and this semester I've finally been able to work with him in the classroom as he's a senior in my behavioral science class. The skills that have led him to great success in the pitch are the same skills he has translated into academic success in the classroom. Tyler is a very exceptional student. He has a strong work ethic. He is well prepared and organized. His written response on essays and homework assignments are always well prepared, thorough, and insightful. One of his strongest characteristics is his respect and compassion for those around him. He always puts the needs of others in front of himself. He is truly an unselfish person who wants to see others succeed and feel worthy. This makes Tyler a leader among his classmates, and he is well respected as an honest, sincere, kind young man. He has been a joy to have in class. Congratulations, Tyler. Hi, my name is Coach Taylor, and I nominated Haley Matice for Student of the Month. From day one, Haley Matice has been a positive vibe within the class. She has an outgoing personality, exemplifies being a hard worker, and enjoys helping others. When Haley comes to class, she always ready to participate and enjoys being around her classmate. She works extremely hard, wanting to get better, and never complains about the work that she has to do. Whenever she is in class, she never takes the days off. When you think of strength training, it's sometimes thought of as a male-dominant field, but Haley has shown that a girl can do just as much, if not better, than the boys. Congratulations, Haley. Hi, I'm Mrs. Mann, and I nominated Grace Myers for Student of the Month. Grace has been doing a remarkable job this year, staying on top of her assignments and working so hard. She is a very responsible young lady, and I'm very proud of her. Congratulations, Grace. Hi, my name is Jeannie Goodwin, and I nominated Lauren Richner for Student of the Month. 
Lauren has demonstrated tremendous resilience and a positive attitude this fall in spite of unexpected circumstances that forced her to become a more independent learner. She worked hard to make up for time away while still honoring her commitments to tough courses, swimming, and NHS. Well done, Lauren. My name is Marley Hittipole. I teach English here at Worthington Kilbourne High School. I nominated Malcolm Sauce for Student of the Month. Um, and Malcolm, I have to say that I have been at Kilbourne for more than a decade, and you are the very first student I have ever nominated for Student of the Month. And I think that that's really saying something. Um, as you know, I teach a lot of really hardworking, high achieving students, and, and you are, are, are one of them. Um, I'm just so impressed with uh, how you challenge yourself. You came to me as a student last year, and you told me, the first thing that you told me was that you had never taken an honors course before, and that Honors English II was your first uh, honors course, and you proceeded to uh, challenge yourself and take feedback and work really hard to improve your skills and now you're in IB and you're doing the same thing. And um, I saw what you wrote on your recent reflection about how when you were in middle school, you were really uh, um, taking some shortcuts and cutting corners and maybe not making all of the best choices. And I just think that that, um, that you know, your, your choices now are who you become and it's opening up all kinds of doors of opportunities for you. And I'm just really proud of your work. And I, I just want to you know, acknowledge that um, to you and to your family, but also publicly that uh, you're an awesome kid and you're, you're a, you've really become a scholar. You ask good questions, you read things closely and you seek feedback on your work. And all of those things um, are going to make a big difference in your life as you go on to college and into your career and into your life. So congratulations, Malcolm Sauce, student of the month, month of December, 2020. Hello, my name is Senorita Brock, and I nominated Julius Siracusa for Student of the Month. Julius has been an outstanding member of our classroom community this year. In both distance learning and hybrid learning, Julius has continuously put forth effort to participate in class, contribute positively, and he asks great questions. Julius is kind, patient, and one of the most respectful and courteous students I have ever had, both with me and his classmates. He consistently goes out of his way to help others and make sure everyone is taken care of. Our class is truly better because of him. Congratulations, Julius. Hello, this is Mr. Sparks. Th this month I nominated Claudia Smith as student of the month. Claudia is a freshman in my physical science class. This year she has been a challenging year with remote learning, hybrid schedule, and back to remote. Claudia has proven not to to allow these obstacles to get in her way from what is important with her academics. She is a quiet leader in the classroom, excellent work ethic, great personality, student athlete, and able to communicate with peers and teachers. CJ has a great future ahead of her and good luck. Congratulations, Claudia Smith, for being nominated as Student of the Month. Hi, my name is Coach Taylor and I nominated Ava Taub for being Student of the Month. Ava Todd is known as my two-way student. The dedication she's shown within her classes to be an outstanding student and her determination within her high school sport participation in which she displays her ability to be great is a great reason to honor her as student of the month. When she attends class, she is always prepared and always one of the first to complete any assignments that must be done. She gets along well with her classmates and teammates and always has a positive attitude. Congratulations, Ava. Hi, my name is Coach Taylor, and I nominated Jonah Wetterer for Student of the Month. Jonah Wetterer has been known within the class as a helper. As I'm observing my class, I've seen Jonah reach out to students and lend his hand or advice on motivating students in a positive way. Jonah is liked by all his classmates and shows his leadership by the way he carries himself. In these times of uncertainty, it sometimes takes that one special person to make everyone's day, and Jonah is that type of person. Not only does he carry the positive personality during class, 
but also he shows the same type of attitude when he is participating in the basketball program. So I am happy to nominate Jonah as Student of the Month. Congratulations, Jonah.